Welcome to Hannah Universe. Today, we're gonna do Hannah things. On today's episode, we are going to do a thrift flip. Recently, we went down to the Tucson bins and I found a bunch of really awesome things, including these beauties right here. These are some vintage 80s, 100% wool pants that are a little bit rough around the edges. They have a lot of moth holes in the bottom legs, but the upper part is beautiful. So what we're gonna do today is turn these into some really fun suspender shorts. If you are at all into fashion right now, you know that overalls are as popular as they've ever been. Everybody wants a pair of overalls, but they already have their normal pair of denim bib overalls. So they're looking for something a little bit more special, something with a little bit of extra funk, something that you could really only get out of vintage. So we're gonna turn this pair of basic, boring red pants that I wouldn't have even bought to sell on their own into some adorable suspender shorts that I'm looking to get about 60 to $80 out of. All right, here's the plan. First, we're gonna take these and turn them into the shorts. So slice on the bottom, finish off the hem, make them pretty. Then I'm gonna take the extra leg bits that are left over and then turn those into the straps that are gonna wrap around the shoulders. Then to finish it off, we're gonna take these little buttons, pop them onto the top, and create the fastening for the suspenders. They're gonna be really cute. All right, the scariest part is just starting it because you just have to cut it, and once you cut it, you can't go back. So let's do this. I'm thinking for the hem on the shorts, I wanna do at least a six inch inseam on it so that we've got a little bit of leg, but I don't wanna go too long on them because I need some extra length for the legs to give me enough material for the suspenders. So in order to do a six inch inseam, I need to do at least seven inch seam allowance, probably eight inch, so that I can do a rolled hem on the inside and make it look nice and pretty. So that will give me about 20 inches or so to work with on the bottom, which I think will be plenty. So that's a great plan, let's do that. It's done. They're already so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, so the next bit we have is to hem the bottom of it to finish that off and make a nice pretty edge. This does have a lining in it, so I'll need to hem both the lining and the outer material. It's a really simple thing to do, so it'll just take a second. Let's do it. Since this is a dress wear material, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the dress wear hem on it, which is a little bit more subtle. It takes just a little tiny prick of fabric every like inch or so and just throws one little tiny stitch in there so that it basically looks invisible whenever it's turned out. So we're gonna do that. It's a little more tricky, but it's fun to do. All right, they are officially shorts. They're super cute. But the hem that I did on these is super cool because now you can see like just these little tiny stitches there instead of having this big line like I did for the lining fabric. That straight line would be really visible and very harsh, but this just has this little tiny edge on the bottom. And once that's all ironed out, you're barely gonna notice it. These are already so much better than they were. I could just sell them as is the way that they are with them just being shorts, but we're gonna take this a step further and turn this into suspender shorts by using the rest of the leg fabric. I think this is so cool because I could just go ahead and throw these leg pieces away and then just use these as shorts the way that they are, but being able to reuse this fabric that is perfectly good and turn them into something even cooler than just a pair of shorts is super awesome to me. Each of these leg pieces are gonna be turned into one single strap. So I'm gonna cut these in half basically and turn one side into the front and then one into the back of them. And then for the other strap, same thing. At the end of it all, it's gonna be about 40-ish inches long. So that'll go from here and then hopefully crisscross into the back and then sew into the back. And then I'll have little buttons in the front to attach it.
Here are my pieces for one single strap. We've got the front half and then the back half. I need to sew these two together to make one long strap and then finish off the sides so that it'll end up being that two and a half inch width. Just have to sew up the sides to make it a giant tube. The way that I cut it, I made it so that there was going to be seam allowance on both sides. I figured it would make it a little bit more crisp on the edge if both sides were sewn instead of just having this little rolled bit here. So I'm about a half inch too wide for that two and a half inch strap. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this side into a half inch. She's rolling! Look at that bouncy machine. <laughs> so you just made the tube skinnier, right? A little skinny tube, yes. Now the next bit, I have to decide how I want the button portion of it to look so that whenever I flip it over, that edge is finished. The other side won't need to be finished because it's just gonna be sewn into the back of the shorts so it won't ever be seen. And that can just be an ugly little finished hem later on. But the top where like it's gonna go onto the little short, I kinda wanna do a little, a little point out of it so that it looks a little, ooh, let's do a rounded edge. We're gonna make it a little round edge. That, that sounds good. Point seemed a little bit too cliche. It's a little crooked, but it'll do. <laughs> now for the fun part, we get to flip the tube. So looking at my boobs. Let's get left in No! <laughs> I'm very worried that this shirt is chesty. <laughs> You're gonna start your own website, hannahfans.com. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> My face is gonna turn the color of these pants. All right. I think that sped up the process, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're done. <laughs> sharing okay. about it while it's happening even if it was recorded like by the way they were totally on a break they were not on a break okay let me clarify they were on a break but he still shouldn't have done it <laughs> moving into the final stage it's time for finishing work we've got all of our pieces made so i've got two straps and of course you know the shorts and now i just need to make sure that they are nice and pretty make some buttonholes, put the buttons on the shorts, and then attach the back of the straps onto the shorts, and we're done. So my next step is gonna be that we need to top stitch this. So just a little tiny edge stitch, just to flatten that edge down, make it nice and crisp. And we'll move on to the buttonhole after that. All right, nice and crisp, flat strap. Got one more to do, and on to buttons. Momo, you're distracting me from working. Alrighty, well, I'm measuring out my buttons so that I can make my button holes. I've got them pinned so that I can just make a little straight line right down the center. Momo, these are not a toy. I may or may not have lost my buttonhole foot. We've moved several times and the sewing machine has been in storage several times, so it's misplaced. <laughs> so I had to do this the old fashioned way by eye. So hopefully this looks really good when it's all done. I've done this before, so it should be fine. Didn't my grandmother teach you how to do this? She did. She was uh, highly impressive at it. <laughs> Gotta do the little the little bookends on the the end so uh, I can finish it off. And that's a good fit, nice and snug. So cute, Momo. Hi, how are you? Are you good? Oh. Ho, ho. You think I've been sewing too long? It's time to quit? All right, Momo. 
I gotta put buttons on this thing, so you be good. No chewing thread, okay? Oh, good scritchies. <laughs> Thinking, the idea is the straps are gonna end up right about there, so the button needs to go there. I'm thinking since everything is going vertically, the uh, little belt loops, the pleats and everything, we're going to make the button go up and down. And that'll be it. You being good? Oh, don't sniff it. She will take that thread, knot it in half, and then drag it all the way to the front door if I let her. It's her favorite thing to do. She usually does it while we're sleeping. No, 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 no. Stop. <laughs> She's like, I'm being cute. Don't mind me. I'm cute. <laughs> That's a difficult machine to rethread. Oh my gosh. She always does this one too, which is the worst one to try to rethread. It has a mind of its own. All right. It's like little lizard eyes. <laughs> but we've got the buttons on now. Positioning the straps. It's got to pick the pretty side. Okay, so this one's definitely the top on this one. That moment when your vision's just coming to life. You can see it. You get a finished product. It's very exciting. All right. Little suspenders. So these are going to crisscross in the back and get sewn down here. Hmm, okay, so these have belt loops in the back and kind of inopportune spots, but we'll see how we can make this fit right. It's like you could go all the way to the sides. I think, I think maybe the middle looks best, so we'll go ahead and put them down in here. I just need to do a little bit of finishing on this edge so we're going to tuck all that inside and do just a little top stitch on it and then sew that right into this waistband right through here and it'll be done. That's it. Just got that nice little finished edge on there and that's it. It's just sewn down in there. We'll just get this strap flipped over the other side and right down into there. Okay, it's like a little puzzle holding it by itself. Let's just get it finished. <laughs> All right, we've done it. We have Suspender shorts, they are done. And they are pretty much exactly how I thought they would turn out. And they are very tight, they are not my size, but hey, I got them on for the video, which is an accomplishment for me. But I am very happy with the way that they turned out. I think they're super cute. And thank you so much for watching this video. To see more videos like this, thrift flips, thrifting videos, cooking videos, all that fun stuff, please hit the subscribe button and come back for the next video. Thanks so much.